Good morning, everyone. Welcome back to the twenty-third World Education Summit, uh, School Education, and this is the first day of the summit. And now we have a technology presentation by Mr. Vivek Vashne, founder of Speed Labs. He is one of the pioneers of hybrid educational model. In fact, Mr. Vashne is a graduate from IIT Kanpur and an MBA from IIM Lucknow. From the last six years, he has been restructuring the hybrid education system in India through his company, Speed Labs. Speed Labs is an advanced adaptive practice and personalized learning platform. Over to Mr. Vashne now to give us more detail about uh, Speed Labs and a technology presentation. Welcome, Mr. Vashne. Thanks, Tarano. Uh, my compliments to Dr. Ravi Gupta and Dr. Abhisuji Sa for organizing such an uh, interactive session, which is uh, very thought provoking and visionary. My sincere compliments to uh, the secretary. uh shri uh, devikant shukla ji and uh, res all the respected uh, guests participating in this uh, summit uh, dear principals uh, teachers uh, and the school management and all the other participants very good morning to all of you uh, i want to talk about a few things which are going to change the direction of school education in the next decade and the change has been led by covid all of us will agree that before covid and after covid there are two different worlds before covid the things that were very happy very very much acceptable are going to be very much out of the system after covid the reason is that technology has brought that change in everyone's mindset the expectations from the parents and the school and school teachers then the students and the management everyone has different expectations from technology now as compared to before all of us have been the most aggressive people in accepting the technology especially the school system has always been on the forefront in accepting the technology driven changes we started with the first uh, the entire school system in the country started the adoption long back in 2000 uh, you know starting 2000 when we started smart classrooms using projectors in the classrooms uh using the lms uh, and the other parent communication systems etc but uh, now after 20 years the expectations from the technology innovation is very different now the entire education has to be student centric and when we think about student centric education it is about using technology to provide personalized feedback personalized monitoring personalized mentoring to each and every student now uh, you know as our country is growing the parents also have lot of awareness about the power of technology and there are systems which are growing in a way which are completely dependent on uh, technology and it will not be surprising that in next 5 years we will have many uh, pure online schools with collaboration uh, with the local schools so they will have a 50 60% component online and 40 50% component offline and it will be a hybrid schooling system that will be an accepted norm like 10 years back uh, home schooling was a stigma but now it is getting more and more accepted parents are getting aware that they have options they have flexibilities and uh, the the traditional trend that once you admit a, a student in a school in class 1 and uh, he will graduate after uh, class 12 and he will not change the school that paradigm is going to shift the parents are more and more aware they have very high expectations from the schools now and they are not uh, you know worried about changing their schools if they have a, a better um, uh, better ecosystem available at another school even if that means they have to pay a little bit more so the point is that uh, technology can be a great enabler in transitioning the schooling system in the post covid world and now i would like to focus on certain aspects where speed labs can make a difference and uh, this is where i would like to uh, explain a few things uh, with the, you know couple of slides and uh, then i will share my thoughts on this so at speed labs our vision is to provide personalized education to every student and become a bridge between dreams and their capabilities with our mission to help more than 8 crore students across the country now what do we want to do what is the approach which we believe that in the future education system will be successful printed material is uh, slowly becoming outdated and in next 5 to 10 years uh, the entire school system will rely less and less on the printed material and the printed books 
everything will be digitized analyzed and every team will every question every topic every chapter will have graded questions and the timed analysis of the effort and the homework so as we all know that the lecture component if we look at the success of a student the lecture component contributes about 25% which takes place in the school system and all the great teachers in the school uh, provide that education they complete the syllabus in a timely manner they explain the concept in depth and then the remaining part is self study practice revision analytics and that has to be uh, on the technology and this is where speed labs can play a significant role uh, with the schools and any other platform but the purpose of uh, my uh, discussion is that after a school engagement should be as much as possible on technology and every analytics should uh, come back to the teachers and the management so the approach that we think is going to be the future of school education is the interactive classes in the school environment physical classroom interactive learning uh, high engagement class participation and technology enabled learning where we can use the projectors or the smart classrooms also but after that there should be a practice platform uh, instead of a, a fixed homework every student should get a, a homework which is customized so in addition to some fixed questions the school can also give adaptive practice or personalized practice to every student and that is the right quality education that is the student centric education and every student get analytics based on their practice and these analytics are real time so after their effort immediately the teachers as well as the students get to know what they have done good what they have not done good where they need to improve what should they revise what is their attempt and accuracy analysis on every subject every chapter every topic every formula and what are the gaps and according to the gaps the technology can provide the personalized improvement plan for every student even at a section level the principals can see which section is lacking on which chapter which topic and so that they can be a very customized plan uh, in the futuristic schools uh, and these are the things which will be expected by the parents in the coming future so we think that the next generation schools should have these four components uh, first is the interactive uh, classrooms in the school physical classrooms and followed by three prong strategy on the technology platforms such as uh, speed labs so this is what i just wanted to share on the uh, on the presentation side but coming back to my original theme uh, the futuristic schools will have lot of power in the hands of uh, school management and principals and lot of power in the hands of school teachers and if we are able to leverage the technology power in the most effective way then we can provide significantly better uh, education as compared to pre covid world and uh, you know we have heard many uh, systems coming in india which are uh, empowering the schools at a student centric education so let me take one very simple example if a parent comes uh, for a parent teacher meeting and if our school teachers are able to give them a feedback such as this that your child is not studying physics uh, in a in last two weeks okay or your child has not studied enough on this particular two chapters or your child is going very fast in this chapter or your child is making errors related to writing uh, units or uh, he is not labeling the diagrams properly now these kind of pinpointed feedback when you give to the parents what it uh, reflects in a huge respect for the school and the schooling system with the technology will be able to do this in fact they will also be able to do some extra efforts on identified students on identified topics on identified uh, chapters etc so that the overall result uh, that a school can deliver can be multiplied better and as we as we all agree that ultimately in education ulti everyone expects an outcome that outcome is in the uh, in the form of learning outcome and there are two aspects one is qualitative aspects which is grooming personality development confidence of the uh, students and their value system uh, their social aspects their ability to interact with other students collaborations teamwork uh, etc mutual respects work ethics etc but there is a very significantly important quantitative aspect 
and when we think about quantitative aspects ultimately parents wants marks they want that okay uh, if there is a 10th board exam uh, in in school a versus school b uh, which school is producing more students uh, in terms of percentage of their students who are crossing 90% 95% marks who are crossing 80% 85% marks so both things are important and a balanced approach between a qualitative grooming because that is also the responsibility of a school and a quantitative delivery which is the marks both are equally important and uh, uh, in the absence of uh, absolute measure the parents uh, value the quantitative measures a lot so if a school is consistently able to deliver more and more uh, success stories eventually it builds a very solid reputation in their city and this reputation ultimately also helps in the school's growth and that is the endeavor of the school uh, management because they set up a school with a vision they want to help and teach more and more students with the right and good quality education and if, believe, believe me uh, that uh, after 2022 uh the change will be very fast and we will also see this change happening within next 3 uh, to 4 years the kind of schools you will see after 3 4 years will be significantly different as compared to the schools 3 years back and the change is going to happen at such a fast pace that the decision making at the school management level will play an important role because they are they have the vision they have set up the school and their uh, vision is to help as many students as possible improve the admissions improve the quality of our outcomes the reputation in the city and this will be a collective effort of the teachers and the utilization of technology so the there will be a blended learnings the hybrid approach is going to be the final approach in the at least next 10 to 15 years and uh, until you know till then the technology will be a supporting role and the teachers and the principals who use the technology you know 24 by 7 will generate significantly different and uh, steep trajectory in their schools growth both in numbers as well as reputation and eventually we also believe uh, at speed labs that the parents are not shying uh, for paying uh, you know higher fees if they believe that the, their child is getting the right education because it, in india is still uh, the majority is middle class and the lower middle class and the aspiring class and for them uh, their child to do well in life education is the only medium that can take their child to the next level and for that if they have the trust that this particular student or uh, this particular school is giving preparing my child ready for the future he is giving the right skills right empowerment to succeed in life Uh, both uh, you know academically as well as um, non non academically soft skills etc then they will pay uh, happily 10000 rupees extra 20000 rupees extra for the year uh, as long as they can build the trust and confidence so uh, my uh, you know to conclude uh, my thinking i want to put uh, three uh, uh, thought processes for all the uh, attendees and co panelists uh, in this uh, uh, summit uh, number 1 Uh, we how fast we should make decisions to adopt a technology whether it is a 3 months process or a 6 months process or a 1 year process everything will have a different trajectory outcome number 2 which side of the technology are we interested to introduce like if we look at the new education policy the focus on personalized education the ai everything the government is committed to bring the change and now it is the responsibility of the school management to join hands and invest in the technology which are student centric rather than basic admin activities so basic admin activities don't add any value to the academic outcomes we should focus on the student centric uh, technologies and adopt them uh, the third is that what are the changes we have to bring in the behavior a uh, teaching behavior of the uh, of the school ecosystem and uh, how we can transform our teachers also to become more technology friendly so that they learn about interpreting the data making decisions based on the data making some changes in the lecture plan according to the data making some extra efforts according to the data so these are the three thoughts i would want to leave um, uh, uh, to all the co-panelists uh, and the attendees in this summit and with this i would like to thank uh, everyone and especially the organizing committee for organizing such a, a wonderful summit uh, during covid we are using the best ease of technology having the virtual uh, summit 
and uh, once again uh, uh, my great regards to all the principal management and co panelists attending this summit thank you very much thank you so much mr vashne that was a wonderful presentation in fact you told us uh, so much about speed labs and uh, as i understand speed labs has been there from the past 6 years so yes. uh, when we talk about pre covid and post covid situations how much do you think that edtech companies have actually contributed especially speed labs has contributed to the entire education uh, ecosystem so uh, i would like to um, uh, very happily tell you currently more than 1 lakh uh, students have been using uh, the speedless platform and uh, uh, we have been able to contribute in their life outcomes i mean uh, hundreds of people have gone to iit and iit uh, medical top medical colleges and now uh, you know at the school level also there have been students who have significantly benefited uh, from a regular daily practice and a proper data driven feedback like uh, if you go to a doctor and uh, he does not do proper diagnosis maybe he will not give you the right medicine uh, he can give you a general you know combi flame and crocin but uh, if he gets the right diagnosis he will give you the right medicine which will treat you faster and uh, which will treat you better so the whole idea is that we are living in a world which is technology and data driven and uh, it is important that we respect the individuality of every student and that uh, respect can be reflected if we use the right data and give him the right guidance so i think the whole purpose is uh, that uh, you know uh, in our times uh, uh, you know nobody knew uh, beyond the toppers uh, the what other students are doing or not doing right the focus was always on toppers but uh, i don't think that is the right approach in the next uh, uh, generation next generation is uh, very much aware they want attention they want proper guidance they want proper feedback and without technology it is impossible perfectly fine in fact uh, one more thing i just wanted to know that you since you're talking about you know preparation of competitive exams like je and iit and other, other exams how far a technology can actually help like technology like speed labs can actually help students in rural areas yeah so no so see the, the product is internet based you can use it from any area and uh, you know thanks to uh, the internet penetration and you know one more thing i forgot to mention that covid has also ensured a very high quality uh, divide penetration everyone rural semi rural semi urban tier 2 tier 3 tier 1 metros believe me every parent has invested in giving the device to the pair, to their students because uh, you know they saved on the transportation and they invested in the device so everyone has some sort of device where you know in the worst case they have the smartphones which have the uh, internet and the uh, charges are very low nowadays you know maybe 200 rupees a month so the uh, speed labs can be used anywhere across the country and uh, uh, the program is very intuitive and everyone can benefit from it and uh, if you i can challenge you if you practice 2 hours a day on speed labs your chances of uh, cracking any competence are 10 times better to any on any other material or any printed material or anything because it is personalized right you will get different sequence of questions i will get different sequence of questions and uh, uh, based on your previous response and gaps uh, every student's learning journeys can be identified by using algorithms and they can be curated in the right sequence of questions perfectly fine that was very wonderful in fact listening to you uh, mr vashni and especially the uh, queries which you already like shared here Uh, thank you so much for giving us time to be a part of the world education summit and thank you so much for giving us time to come here and give this industry presentation and uh, can you. we have a certificate for him now please and that's the speaker certificate mr vashne for you thank you so much for being a part of the world education summit thank you thank you sir